before we get into today's video, you guys should take your privacy seriously. You guys should check out private internet access. Now, the great thing about this VPN is they support gift cards, all major credit cards, Bitcoin, and PayPal. They also support iOS, Android, Linux, Windows, Mac, and a more platforms. Now, they also have 3,000 servers in over 28 countries, so you should never really have a problem with speeds. They have a kill switch, so basically if the VPN disconnects, your internet stops working. You can connect uh, five different devices. You can block ads, trackers, and malware, no traffic logs, unlimited bandwidth, and so on. It is such a nice VPN service. I'm using it. I love it. Link will be below. They got a great deal going on. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can set up SDB EMU and how you can kind of optimize it to run a little better for you. So when you open up SDB uh, on your remote controller, whatever it may be, you're going to hold down a button or an OK button, any button to bring up this window here. Okay. You're going to go to settings and here's a couple settings that we're going to tweak. You're obviously going to have these ones enabled by default, okay? Accelerated rendering, you're going to put this to hardware. If you have a device that has some good specs, put it to here, okay? You can uh, password protect, or uh, on the newer ones, on STB Pro, you have a remote option. So you can download STB remote apps on your phone to control STB with your phone, which is nice. Unfortunately, I opened up the free one. Uh, because I have no profiles on this one. Okay. So I'm just letting you know that. All right. They also have this where you can come here and you can put this to 40,000 instead of 20 uh, to help. But anyhow, this setting up uh, profile. So to do profiles, uh, you can delete this main one, but this is the one we're going to use. So to set up uh, STB, you would obviously have a service that you pay for whatever it may be uh, I have a couple links below but anyhow you come here so you label it so we'll call it you know cable guy okay you would go to portal now you have two portal URLs that you can enter to actually do this you mess with the top one not the bottom and you'd put in the portal, whatever it may be, okay? So some of them look like this, where they'll have, you know, uh, two, four, five, six, five, and then they'll have, you know, oops, live that cable guy. TV.xyz, let's say, okay? It'd be something like that. Obviously, this portal is not going to work. And then you would need to back out. Then you're going to go down the SCB configuration. And you have a Mac here, okay? So, for the sake of the video, I will be changing this. But this is where you would input the Mac address that they either give you or you make up, okay? So, you can come here before you sign up and you can make a Mac. Now, the first three numbers, first three set of like 0, 0, uh, 1, 8, 7, 9, you need to keep. Do not modify these, okay? Unless the IPTV service gives you a modified one, then you change it. You need to come up with uh, six different things, letters and numbers, okay? So once you've done that, you would hit okay. You'd back out, back out, back out. You'd hold OK again, go down the profile, and then you would click that profile. And obviously, this is not going to work, but that's how you would set up STB. It's fairly simple to do. Again, when you go to an IPTV service, they leave a, a space for, uh, it will say Meg device or whatever. That's where you would input the Mac, or uh, if they don't have that option, they may give you a Mac or ask you uh, for something. So. Uh, if IBTV services have where they can use uh, M3U and uh, STB EMU, you would be better to use STB EMU. Uh, that's my preference. I love using this more than 
a perfect player. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to see you on my next one. Peace. I made it to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget, on the left is a video in Main Lake, and on the right, you can check out my last video again. Thank you for checking out the video. It means a lot. See you on my next one. Peace.